In today's lesson, we are going to build off the skills that we learned in yesterday's lesson when applying with one step inequalities. In today's objective, students will be able to solve and graph single variable but two step inequalities on a number line. So let's review some of the skills that we learned yesterday on how to graph these inequalities. The first thing that we need to remember is there's this idea of exclusive and inclusive. So in order to differentiate between the two, you're going to look for that equal to expression. So if I'm given k is greater than negative 3, since I don't hear that equal to expression, when I graph my number line, I am going to create an open circle. Let's go ahead and pick a hash mark to write down our negative 3. Any hash mark will do. Since it's exclusive, so we don't include that negative 3, we need to draw an open circle on that 3, on that negative 3. And since our inequality says k is greater than negative 3, then we want to highlight all of our points to the right of our number line because those values are going to be greater than. In contrast, if we're looking at an inequality that is inclusive, which means that we want to include the equal to value, such as m is less than or equal to 7, then when we are plotting it onto our number line, we want to make sure that we include the 7. So let's go ahead and plot our 7 on the number line. Since we are including this value, we are, include, we are going to draw a closed circle or that dot. And since it's less than, we're going to move in the left direction because the values to the left would be less than the 7. We're going to go ahead and review on how to solve two-step equations using inverse, IR, inverse operations using the OIR method. So we look for our variable, we have a k, and we ask what's close in proximity. We are adding a 3, and then this fraction bar tells me that I am dividing. So I'm dividing by 4. So the inverse of addition is subtraction, and the inverse of division is multiplication. And in order to solve this equation, I need to make sure that I do the reversed order of those inverse operations. So if I multiply both sides by 4, notice how I'm writing 4 on both sides. The 4 in the numerator cancels out with the 4 in the denominator, so I'm flying down to 1. 1 times the quantity k plus 3 leaves me with k plus 3 equals 8 times 4 is 32. Then our last step to isolate the variable is to subtract both sides by 3, giving me a final value of k equals 29. Now, just like we applied with our one step inequalities, two step inequalities are going to use the same tools of OIR and inverse operations to solve and isolate that variable. So let's go ahead and take an example. We have 4h plus 5 is greater than 29. Now this is the same as if this was an equation or an equality. It just has this inequality symbol. So let's go ahead and apply the inverse operation. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 5 from both sides because I originally added 5. So this is going to cancel out to 0. So now I have 4h is greater than 24. And then in order to isolate that h, I'm now then going to divide both sides by 4. The 4 on top and bottom cancels out or reduces to 1. 1 times h gives me h, so my answer is h is greater than 6. Let's go ahead and take this application and solve with another example, but then also graph our solution. So in our next problem, we have w times 4 divided by 3 is greater than or equal to 20. We're going to take a look at how to solve this equation and then we're going this inequality and then go ahead and graph our result. So we need to multiply both sides by 3 because we divided it by 3. 
3 and 3 reduces to 1 since it's in the numerator and denominator so what we're left is w times 4 is less than or equal to 60 and since I multiply by 4 I'm now going to divide by 4 divide by 4 again reduces to 1 using the identity property 1 times w is w is less than or equal to 15 so let's go ahead and take a look on how we plot that on our number line. So pick a hash mark to label 15. I'm going to write 15 here. Since I have an equal to expression, it's inclusive, so I'm going to do a closed circle. Since it's less than 15, I'm moving in the left direction. Moving in the left direction, because those values are going to be less than. I want you to go ahead and try our next problem. We have negative 2y plus 8 is less than or equal to 36. So same process if we were to use OIR we're going to figure out that we need to subtract 8 on both sides. So when we do that we have positive 8 and negative 8 canceling out to 0. So we're left with negative 2y is less than or equal to 36 minus 8 which is 28. Now we're going to divide both sides by negative 2. So here we might have this error or misconception that we're only dividing by 2 but in order to isolate that y we need to divide the whole quantity by a negative 2 because that's the coefficient in front. So when we do this we're going to get an answer of y on the left side and we have an answer of negative 4 on the right side but I want you to pay close attention that I am dividing by a negative and we know that dividing or multiplying by a negative changes the direction of the sign so it's no longer less than or equal to it's greater than or equal to so once we've decided that it's really important that we switch the direction of the sign because that will change what our graphing is going to look like so let's take a look at our number line. We have negative 14 on our number line. Since it's inclusive, we want to draw that dot, a closed circle, and it's greater than, so we move to the right. There we go. Now it's your turn. You have this equation. Notice in this example, we have the variable on the right side rather than the typical left side but the way that we solve this problem is the same. I do want to do a little mention that if we have a negative in our division or multiplication when we're solving make sure to keep the mindset that we need to change direction of the inequality symbol. If we don't we're going to come and arrive with a different expression that is incorrect. So if we're dividing or multiplying by a negative, be sure to switch the direction of your sign. And once you're finished with this equation, I want you to challenge yourself with an equation that looks like this. And you are applying multiple skills in this example, and I want to point and give you a few hints. You notice that there's a leading factor on the outside of this expression, so we might need to apply the distributive property. And once we apply the distributive property, all we have to do is to make sure that we're going through all of our operations through OIR, apply them correctly, and we should arrive at a correct inequality. So have a look at this problem, and let's see who can come up with the answer. Good luck.